everyone. So a lot of people have been asking why Graham's number uses the number three. And of course, also what is little Graham? So in today's video, we're gonna talk about that. So, I mean, if you have uh, read or heard about Graham's number, and if you, if you know about that number, you would know Graham's number looks like this, or this is one of the ways that this that can represent Graham's number. Of course, it is G64. So you start with G1, which is three, four arrows, three, and then this number, of course, we know that it's already a very, very big number, and it represents the number of arrows for the next level, the second level, which is G2. So G2 has this number of arrows. And we already know that, uh, each additional arrow will increase your number by crazy amount. So this thing over here has 64 levels and this level over here, three with G63 arrows, three is Graham's number. So as you can see here, um, there's a lot of threes over here. Or basically Graham's number is just a whole bunch of threes multiplying together. So people ask why is it three? Why is it not four or five or a hundred or Google? Or why is it G1? Why, why G1 is not like four, six arrows, five? You know, why, why is it three? So the reason for three, believe it or not, I'm gonna just, you know, of course you can take a guess first. Of course it's not three colors. We know that Graham's number, the original theory is, I think is, you know, most people, I mean, they're saying blue or red. So basically it's two colors from the theory. You're joining all the vertices of a uh, higher dimensional cube using two colors. And you're trying to avoid some kind of pattern. Um, but of course they, it is using two colors, not, so it's not three colors. So that's not the reason. And believe it or not, the actual reason is actually Ron Graham chooses three because he just want to use three and of course I'm going to explain why three but the real reason is just Ron Graham chooses three and this is not a joke so you can kind of argue at least the Graham's number that we know of right now the most common one most well-known one is actually a makeup number and of course um you know, although it's a makeup number, however, the actual Graham's number is not a makeup number. It is from an actual mathematical proof. It just happens that this is not the original Graham's number. So what is the original Graham's number that I think most people uh, doesn't know or they don't know? Then the original Graham's number, some people actually call it the little Graham. So let's look at what is the little Graham and how big it is. So the little Graham, or, uh, which is also called the Graham uh, Roth's trial number, which is originally uh, published back in 1971, which is the original Graham's number because this is the actual number that appears in the original proof in 1971. So in this case, uh, it is actually G7. Of course, I use the little g over here. So there's seven levels over here. And the first term, which is, you can call it G1, small letter g, which is equal to two with 12 up arrows, three. So this is the G1 over here. And of course, two 12 arrows, three uh, would be representing the number of arrows on the second level, which is G2. So G2 will be two with G1 numbers of arrows and then three. And in total, there are seven levels, including this level over here, two 12 arrows, three. So G, I mean, little gram or the, this number over here, the original grams number would be two with G6 number of arrows, three. So this is actually the number that appears in the original proof in 1971. And of course, uh, this number, this makeup number by Ron Graham, it actually uh, was published in a another paper in 1977. So six years after this, and it, of course it was later 
being, you know, make, make famous. Um, and this is what actually become the grams number that we know of today. So as you can see over here, um, you know, if you already know the math behind this, you can already tell this is, of course, way smaller than this G64 over here because the little gram, of course, that's the reason why it is called little gram because it's smaller than the current grams number and it is G7 and the current grams number is G64. But however, even though there's only seven levels over here, actually the G1 in from the little gram is actually way bigger than the G1 of the current grams number because the G1 here, although the beginning number is two, but it has 12 up arrows versus only four arrows in the current G1. Um, but again, it only has seven levels. And the reason why grams number, I mean, Ron Graham make up this new grams number is basically because he's trying to uh, make it easier for people to understand because he think he thought that this is way too difficult for people to understand so that's why later on he want to make a easier number for people to understand and of course another uh, thing he wants for his new number is of course he wants to make this number I mean this number has to be bigger than this number that's what he wants so that is why he make in order to make of course, the G1 here is smaller than this one. So in order to make this number bigger is to increase the number of levels. So he just uh, thought, you know, I think he thinks 64 is a big number. It's a good number or at least people think he would, would probably won't be a makeup number. Um, and um, so this is basically the original grams number, little gram. And uh, again, okay, so why is he choosing the number three? So the, his first um, preference for uh, making his, I mean, one of the more important factor uh, to make his this new number is that he will try to be as easy as possible. So he want to have, use his, the smallest number possible to be the basic building blocks of his number. So, of course, the smallest number, you cannot use zero because it would just be zero. So, uh, and of course, he want to use the same number for, so he only want to use one number for making up his whole number over here. And of course, you can see the original grams number, there's two and there's three. So there are two different numbers used for representing his number. So, of course, he, he won't only want to use one number to represent uh, this newer, easier to explain number. So he decided to just use one number instead of two. And of course, he cannot use zero. And what about one? Of course, you cannot use one because one with, doesn't matter how many arrows you add, the result will always equal to just one. Because the definition here is just means um, whatever number of arrows here, uh, it just equals to one with this many of arrows minus one arrow and one and the one at the end it just represent how many one in total over here so this one would immediately reduce to just one because this is only one one over here that's the definition so it doesn't matter how many arrows you add the result will always be one what about two can he use the number two actually no it turns out that doesn't matter how many arrows you add over here, two with a lot of arrows, two will always be equal to four. So many people may be surprised about that, but actually it's not a difficult equation or a difficult thing to calculate yourself. Again, uh, that in order to solve this thing, you just basically take one arrow away from here, and then the end number it just uh. Um, it just equals to the number of two in this case. So eventually, so this one would be reduced to minus one arrow and then two with that many arrows, two. And of course, the next step would just reduce one more arrow and then still only two, two. So at the end, it will eventually reduce to two arrow, two. And of course, we know that two arrow, two is four. So again, he cannot use four. I mean, he cannot use two because the end result will be four. But how about three? 
And it turns out that he can use 3. If you use 3, a lot of arrows 3, you will get a very big number. So that is why the reason he used 3 for his newer Rams number. And um, that's the reason. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.